as he may consume uh, to the gentleman from North, Carol or North Dakota. The gentleman from North Dakota is recognized for such time as he may consume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I thank Chairman Walden for yielding the time and for his important leadership. And I think it's worth noting, as I know, Representative Loebsack and, and several of us from rural districts often get involved in issues like this. And I always like to remind people that Representative Walden's district is actually larger than the state of North Dakota. That's how rural we are. And uh, we all know Iowa is a rural state. And I think this, uh, this bill is a great representation of what happens when a coalition of rural states and districts get together and try to do the right thing for the people we work for. And so it's, it's a pleasure to be part of that. Um, I will be brief because the, the leadership have already outlined the, the essence of the bill very effectively. But I think I'd spend just a minute or two talking about the reality of the importance of this to a place like North Dakota, to a place like rural Oregon or Iowa and other places where distance is greater than the population, um, where, the, where the advantages of access to something as dynamic as the Internet makes all the difference in the world for education opportunities, for health care accessibility, um, for, of course, individual um, use. And, uh, and that's a challenge in rural America that, frankly, many of our small Internet service providers and com communication and technology companies have been meeting all along with plenty of things going against them, not the least of which is much of the deployment of broadband in rural America has been done even when it's not necessarily economically advantageous to do it at the time. So the, the burdensome um, regulations, uh, intended or unintended, that came from the, the FCC rule just don't apply to everybody. And I think that the standards that we've set, that the negotiation that has created the benchmarks for, for um, access deployment were appropriate. And uh, 250,000 uh, consumers size of the companies, I think, hits just right that sweet spot, not only because it was negotiated and it's, it's got consensus, but because I think it's, I think it's the right number. I think it's, they're the right numbers. So we don't, we don't want to stifle innovation. We want to expand innovation, especially in something as dynamic as the Internet. This act does it. I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm honored to be a member of the committee. And I thank uh, the ranking member, Eshoo, as well as Representative Loebsack and certainly Chairman Walden for their leadership on